Hello, welcome to my show. My name is Madison Sarmoon. Today is August 5th, 2013. Joining me tonight is Kim Trill's activist and all-around great guy, DK22, Peter Kay. And also joining us is Australian pilot and medical debunker, Michael Glenn. This is uh, Michael and Peter's second appearance on the show, and I'd like to thank you both in advance for agreeing to this meeting. Uh, before we begin, I would just like to say you know, to both guests that I would like to keep this broadcast as respectful as possible. I'm Kim Trill's real and our uh, big threat to this planet right now. I'm deeply concerned uh, for humanity, and I want to do anything I can to help protect us from this crime against humanity. I believe, Peter, are you with me? Yeah, I'm Me, right? Just listen to me and we'll see what you can say to these. Is this going to be a question um, or a rant? Ask me just a question, Peter, instead of just ranting. I'll ask Please. you. Shut up. Shut up and listen. I'll ask you, mate. We'll start off with the QF63, okay? Yep. Yeah. QF63 leaves Sydney. It does its great circle lot. I couldn't give a shit what it does when it gets down there, mate. I'm just worried about it going over Melbourne, okay? You're saying Melbourne's the quickest route normally, yeah? Yeah, it is. Okay, yes, it is. Melbourne's the quickest route. Just, uh, just so happens Melbourne usually, to be usually, you know, a point of faith city. Usually, it, yeah, okay. it, depend, it depends usually. on the winds at the time, on the day. Okay. okay. It changes. Okay, question is, we, we, film, we film that uh, spraying quite often. Um, but so happens on weekends. For some reason, the, the, the conditions change on weekends. Because the QF63 decides to... Virtually go straight down southerly to friggin' Hobart. Hobart, yes, yes, that does a 90 degree yes. turn once it hits Hobart, mate. There is no, no known it reason. Doesn't why do it, it, does it does not do a 90 degree turn. In. Are, you, are you asking me to quit? Mate, it does a turn. I've got proof. I can I'll burn you down with this. Look at my videos. It doesn't do 90 degrees, fair enough, but it turns soon as it hits Hobart. There is no known reason. It yeah, is. I'll tell you what goes to Hobart. There is a... I'll tell you what goes to Hobart, a, mate, because it was, my Hobart is in that vicinity where no air traffic goes above it at 30,000 plus feet. But, but there are... Qantas Q63 is a convenient plane they use to go down there because that's, that's the only one they can use that goes down there and does this great circle thing. That, not only Qantas, we know that ANZ 175 does the same thing. It comes down from Auckland and goes down 45 degrees and hits Hobart and goes straight up again. And I know I've made two calls to this guy that I've just picked out randomly, got him out of his hotel, Minutes before that, we tracked on flight radar, and he, he told me straight away there was pumping out chemtrails, mate. There is no known reason why you have to go near Hobart. And there is, there, there is a reason. Oh, come on, hit me with me. Come on, what's Hobart got that you okay, need to okay. go? Flying over. That was no, that was an amazing just, piece of information. Sorry, go ahead. It's, it's actually not that far it's, it's from Melbourne. Uh, it's actually not that far uh, from Melbourne. It's about 200 miles from Melbourne. There is a VOR that's, that that uh, marks the end of it. I'll be there. Airway there. They fly down over the top of Hobart when the, when the conditions exist, particularly this time of year when there are jet streams flying over the top of uh, oh. Australia. I flew in one. Now, uh, can you listen, Peter? Peter, listen, you do not listen, okay? You, you, you know nothing about, about this stuff, okay? And you are not an expert. You're I'm not listening, pilot. idiot. You do not have a clue, okay? You do not have a clue about this stuff. It changes on a day-to-day basis. Hey, hey, oh, what, you mean, what, happens, what happens when it finishes Hobart and goes uh, 2,000 miles, uh, miles across the Pacific frigate? Ocean. Where is the bore on the Pacific Ocean, mate? There is no bloody bores or whatever it's you want to call it on all that the way around the Pacific Ocean and the ocean is no Hannesburg, but yet you're saying Hobart has to have a fucking a bore for the QS-63. I'll tell you why it goes down there, because it goes down the east coast of Australia to give them a, a spray, the poor people that live on the east coast of Australia. Yeah, and hey, Mike, Mike, hold on, Mike, Mike, we're just really concerned, Mike, Mike, please, I'm really concerned about this, sorry, sorry, Mike, I'm just saying that we're just really concerned about this, 
sorry. I was just letting you know that we're 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 really emotional about this because we're really concerned about the chem scouts. It's not, you know, I just uh, want you to put this in perspective of what we're I, talking about here. Okay. And that is exactly why I the the emotion that this has been caused, the anger that this this causes, is boiling over into threats, and that's the only reason. The only we're reason not I can't threaten anybody. Threat. Uh, we, we, no, you no, are not threatening anybody. 